silent is gold. Hasn't Megag over faces as Palomid Scobie got thunder after smearing against Queen. Meghan Markle's ally, royal commentator Omid Scobie appears to have twisted the knife into the Queen over the row about Prince Andrew's titles being removed by comparing the Duke of York's fate to that of Prince Harry's. The Harper's Bazaar royal editor claimed Andrew had a confusing ring of protection around him and only had his titles removed because the threat to Brand Windsor and the family business had finally forced the institution's hand. However, Mr. Scobie said Harry had been stripped of his titles because he simply wanted to remove his family from an unhealthy environment and was publicly dragged over the coals and stripped of his every achievement and royal privilege before setting one foot out of the country. In an opinion piece for I newspaper, Mr. Scobie said, For the public watching this saga play out, the ring of protection around Andrew has been confusing, especially when you compare his treatment to Prince Harry, who, love or loathe him simply wanted to remove his family from an unhealthy environment. There was no sympathetic support behind palace walls for the Duke of Sussex. Instead, he was publicly dragged over the coals and stripped of his every achievement and royal privilege before setting one foot out of the country. The royal drama continues. Prince Charles, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship is still at odds despite the Prince of Wales' recent invitation for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to stay with him when they're in the United Kingdom. A source told The Mirror on January 18, 2022, that Charles invited Harry and Meghan to stay with him and his wife, Camilla Parker Bowles, in the days before Christmas as a way for him to see his grandchildren. Charles has never met Harry and Meghan's newborn daughter Lilibet Diana, named after his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, and his late ex-wife, Princess Diana, since she was born in June 2021, and the last time he's seen the Sussex's son, Archie Harrison was when his grandson was just six months old. Despite good-natured and enjoyable video calls between Charles, Harry and Meghan in the past few months, in the end, the Duke of Sussex told his father he would be unable to return home because it would be too great a personal risk for him and his family to come back to the UK without security. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home, Harry and Meghan's legal representative said in the statement. Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats, the representative said in a statement. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. The statement continued, as is widely known. Others who have left public office and have an inherent threat risk receive police protection at no cost to them. The goal for Prince Harry has been simple, to ensure the safety of himself and his family while in the UK so his children can know his home country. Harry's legal representatives also confirmed in the statement that his lack of security is the reason he's never returned to the UK with his family since he left. The UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. With the lack of police protection, comes too great a personal risk. Prince Harry hopes that his petition, after close to two years of pleas for security in the UK, will resolve this situation, the representative said.
calls between Charles, Harry and Meghan in the past few months. In the end, the Duke of Sussex told his father he would be unable to return home because it would be too great a personal risk for him and his family to come back to the UK without security. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home, Harry and Meghan's legal representative said in the statement. Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats, the representative said in a statement. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family.